sixth grade, module four, lesson five, classwork, exponents. As you evaluate these expressions, pay attention to how you arrived at your answers. We have four plus four, plus a bunch of fours. So let's see how many fours we have. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So another way to write this expression, instead of writing all those fours together, we could just write 10 groups of four. So we have 10 times four. And then the next one, how many nines do we have? Well, there are one, two, three, four, five. So five groups of nine, five times nine. And then we have 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So five groups of 10. So five times 10 is how I would write those. Now notice those are all, they, they're all addition. They have the original expressions all had addition signs in the, between them. But what if we had like examples one through 10 where they were written in ex, um, exponential form is what we're going to do because there are multiplication signs in between. So here we have one, two, three, four, five fives. So if I wanted to write that in exponential form, that would be five to the fifth power, which means that we multiply the base, this is the base, and this is the exponent. So we multiply the base however many times the exponent tells us to do, that many times repeatedly. What I see a lot of times, and the most common mistake with exponents, and we did exponents a little bit in fifth grade, mostly with just powers of 10. But what my students always like to do is just multiply the base by the exponent, and that is a big no-no. It's you multiply the base by the however many times the exponent says, that many times. So for two times two times two times two, we have four two, so that is two to the fourth power. Two is the base, that's the number that we're gonna be multiplying. Four is how many times we're gonna be multiplying that number by itself, the exponent. Write each expression in expanded form. So eight to the third power, that is not eight times three, that is eight multiplied by itself three times. So eight times eight times eight. 10 to the sixth power would be 10 multiplied by itself six times. So g to the third power would be g multiplied by itself three times. Whatever g is, whatever variable they decide, or number they decide to assign to that variable. Go back to examples one through four and use a calculator to evaluate the expressions. Okay, so one through four, five to the fifth power. It says use a calculator, so I'm gonna find my calculator. Okay, so I'm using, um, it's called this, the calculator. Um, I don't have the premium version, which is why I have ads. But if you, so the first page is just a regular calculator. But if you go down here and click on scientific, it will bring up a lot more functions that we can do with this calculator. So we're doing five to the fifth power. So we have five right here, and then find the little button that says X to the Y. I'm kind of highlighting it right here, X to the Y. So we're doing five to the fifth power. So five, and then I hit X to the Y to the fifth power. And that'll pop up there to the fifth power. And that is equal to 3,125. So this is, and then we have two to the fourth power. I'm gonna clear it out by clicking this AC button. So we have two to the fourth power. Oops, I did the wrong button. Two, this button, to the fourth power. I took the square root instead. is 16. 
8 to the third power. I'm going to click 8 to the third power is 512. And 10 to the sixth power, we really shouldn't need to use a calculator for that. We learned in fifth grade that that would be a one with six zeros. Or one million. And number five we can't do because we don't know what G is equal to. So we used a calculator, we evaluated those expressions. What's the difference between 3G and G to the third power? Well, 3G would be equal to G plus G plus G, or 3 times G. Whereas G to the third power is G times G times G. So the difference is 1, we are adding G 3 times and the other we are multiplying g by itself three times number six write the expression in expanded expanded form and then evaluate so three and eight tenths to the fourth power so that would be 3 and 8 tenths times 3 and 8 tenths times 3 and 8 tenths times 3 and 8 tenths. So let's use our calculator. 3 and 8 tenths to the fourth power is equal to, and I'm just going to round that to the nearest hundredths place. So the 1 is in the hundredths place. There's a 3 next to it, so I'm going to leave it at 208 and 51 hundredths. Number seven, write the expression in exponential form and then evaluate. So exponential form, there are two of them. So two and one tenth to the second power. So two and one tenth to the second power is equal to 4 and 41 hundredths. Number 8, write the expression in exponential form and then evaluate. So we have 75 hundredths times 75 hundredths times 75 hundredths. So that would be 75 hundredths to the third power. And I'm going to round that to 42 hundredths. The base number can also be a fraction. Convert the decimals in fra to fractions in examples 7 and 8 and evaluate. Leave your answer as a fraction. Remember how to multiply fractions. Okay, for 7, so tw 2 and 1 tenth, if we wanted to write that as a fraction, would be equal to 21 tenths. So we'd have 21 tenths times 21 tenths. And so we're going to convert them to fractions and evaluate. So what we have is 21 tenths to the second power. And 21 times 21 is 441 over 10 times 10 is 100 and if we simplified that we can make that let's see 4 goes into 100 or 400 goes into 100 four times so we can take out four holes and make it 41 4 and 41 hundredths, which is the same as what we got right there. 
So then let's do number eight. We have 75 hundredths. I'm gonna make that three fourths, just to simplify it. So we have three fourths times three fourths times three fourths, which would be equal three fourths to the third power. Three times three is nine. Nine times nine would be, or not, nine times three, sorry. Three times three is nine. 9 times 3 is 27, and 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. So we get 27 64ths, and if we made that into a decimal, I'm sure it would match that. We can check. Let's do 27 divided by 64. Yep, we get 42 hundredths. Number nine, write the expression in exponential form and then evaluate. One half times one half times one half would be one half to the, there are three of them, so our exponent is third power. So if we multiplied one times one times one, we keep one, and two times two is four, times two is eight, so this is equal to one eighth. Number 10, write the expression in expanded form, then evaluate two thirds to the second power, so that's just multiplying two-thirds times two-thirds. Two times two is four, three times three is nine, so it's equal to four-ninths. Exercises number one, fill in the missing expressions for each row. For whole number and decimal bases, use a calculator to find the standard form of the number. For fraction bases, leave your answer as a fraction. So three to the second power, they did the first one for us, is three times three, and in standard form, that's nine. So here they gave us the expanded form, two times two times two. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be two to the sixth power. And it says we can use a calculator, so let's do two to the sixth power. Remember we hit this X to the Y button. It's 64. 4 to the 5th power, so that's 4 multiplied by itself 5 different times. And 4 to the 5th power is 1024. Then we have 3 fourths times 3 fourths, which would be 3 fourths to the second power. So I'm putting that in parentheses so that I know I'm multiplying all of three-fourths together by itself twice, not just the three, the numerator three. And three-fourths to the second power I'm gonna make it a decimal so it's easier to multiply. So I'm gonna use 75 hundredths to the second power is 56 hundredths One and five tenths times one and five tenths would be, again, since there's more than one digit and it has a decimal point, I'm just gonna add that. So one and five tenths to the second power. Is two and 25 hundredths. Number two, write five cubed in all three forms, exponential, expanded, and standard. So exponential form, five cubed, would be five cubed means to the third power. So then an expanded form, that would be five times five times five. And standard form, five times five is 25, times five is 125. So that's, we can label them exponential, form, expanded form, and standard form. Number three, write 14 and 7 tenths squared in all three forms. So let's first write it out. So we have 14 
and 7 tenths squared. I'm going to write it like that. So that is exponential form. 14 and 7 tenths squared, let's write it and expand it. So we're multiplying it by itself twice. And then let's use our calculator to do 14 and 7 tenths squared. And I'm going to round it to 216 and 9 hundredths. That is standard form. Number four, one student thought two to the third power was equal to six. So they thought two to the third power was equal to six. What mistake do you think he made and how would you help him fix his mistake? Well, let's see, two to the third power is actually two times two times two, which two times two is four and four times two is eight. So this is actually equal to eight. I bet what he did is what I talked about a little bit earlier. He multiplied the base, the base being two, by the exponent three, two times three. And we don't just multiply the base times the exponent. If we wanted to do that, we would just write two times three, but that's not what we want. So let's say he probably multiplied the base by the exponent What he needs to do, or what he should have done, is multiplied the base by itself. However many times the exponent says. And that is all.